Well, 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 look at this. Surprise, they don't have any hidden fates anywhere. Completely sold out. But you know that's not gonna stop us. Yo boy, got you covered. Hey, what is up my breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction and we are back again with another hidden fates opening. It's worth more than gold. And at this point, that is probably true. So breaking family, you know exactly what's going on today. You're all smart. We're opening up all of these Hidden Fates booster packs, but we are opening up only, only the pack artworks with Mew on them. So basically what's been going on the past couple of videos is we've been doing a little bit of an experiment trying to figure out which pack artworks have the best pull rates inside of them. The first video we opened up only the packs with shiny Charizard on them. Then the next video we opened up only the packs with shiny Mewtwo on them. And then in today's Pokemon card opening, we are opening up only the packs with Mew on them. And then of course, in the last installment of this series, we'll be opening up the packs with only the legendary bird trio on them. And what I need all of you to do, if you have not watched the past two videos with shiny Charizard only or shiny Mewtwo only, make sure you go and watch them. Then let me know in the comment section down below, which pack artwork so far out of Mew, Charizard and Mewtwo has had the best pulls. Oh, I almost forgot. How could I forget the Hidden Fates binder? Yes, we are on a little bit of a task. We are trying to complete the entire set of Hidden Fates by getting one of every single card, including Reverse Hollows. It's a little bit harder of a task than what I thought it was gonna be, but we're doing pretty good so far. I have a playlist of every single Hidden Fates opening I have done here on the channel, so you can come along on the adventure with me to see how far we have gotten so far. Um, after we open up today's Mew Packs, that is gonna put us at a total of 120 Hidden Fates booster packs that we have opened up so far so let's go ahead and start and then at the very end of today's video we will go in this binder and we'll put the cards we needed together inside of this binder um yeah still in the search for uh, that shiny charizard gx hopefully today will be the day there's still a lot of cards from hidden fates that we need to pull it has not been an easy set to complete especially because it is so hard to find hidden fates right now Energy! Pokemon Center Lady, which I wish there was a full art version of Pokemon Center Lady in this set. Sabrina Suggestion, Misty's Determination. There we go, already, very first booster pack, we have a shiny Magnazone, uh, not GX, I don't know why I was going with GX, got ahead of myself there. A shiny Magnazone, which by the way, we do need for the binder, so that's one card we can put in there. And then in Arbok, got those Team Rocket vibes going on. But Shiny Magnazone, we definitely need. So let me grab the sleeves right over here. Sleeve these up. All right, here we go. Whoop. There we go. Nice Shiny Magnazone. How has your pulls been so far? Have they been good? Have they been bad? I would definitely love to know. Let's go into the next Mew pack. Hopefully we'll pull at least one shiny GX Pokemon today. All right, we have ourselves a Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Clefairy, Eevee. Sorry, I almost broke out into a Clefairy song there. Energy, I don't know if Clefairy, ha does Clefairy have a song? I know it doesn't have a song like Jigglypuff, but I feel like it, just, it Clefairy, Clefairy, Clefairy. I mean, I feel like that's a song on its own. Magmar, Scyther, Brock's Grit. I'm not seeing doubles, am I? All right, shiny Magnazone. We went from not having any to now having two shiny Magnazones. Interesting, okay, very, very interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, sleeve this up right here. Whoop. There we go. So uh, two shiny Magnazones back to back. All right, very interesting, very interesting. There's another code card right there. And since we did get two shinies back to back, I think it's only fitting that we do a little bit of an intermission. You know, Hidden Fates is such a great, it's almost like a show, like a theatrical show you go to because it's such an elegant and beautiful set. We have to have an intermission. So here is our Unified Minds intermission right here. We are cleansing the palette of Hidden Fates. That one we will start back up. 
we can start back up fresh with a clean palette. That sounds weird to say, but it makes sense to me, I guess. Pino, fly away, bird, fly away. Poiple, Numel, Axew, Minion, Energy, Hapu, Magneton, Sableye, looking like it's up to no good. Sableye, what are you up to? Tauros, Ultra Rare, and uh, I want to swing from the Chandelure. All right, so I'm going to put that Reverse Hollow right there, and then I'm going to put my Rare over there, and here is the code card right there. I never keep any of the code cards in any of my videos. No, I always give them to you, the Breaking Family, so you can hit that bell notification icon right at the bottom of your screen. Get notified as soon as a new video goes over here. Then you can rush over here, try to grab yourself a code card. They do go pretty fast, so make sure... Um, that's why I'm suggesting you hit that bell notification icon so you can get over here as soon as a new video goes up. All right, here we go. Clefairy, Psyduck, yes! Psyduck gets to go in its own little section right there. The best Pokemon in the entire world. Nope, nope, it's not Charizard. I'm sorry, I love me some Charizard. I love me some Pikachu. I love me some Eevee. I love me some Greninja. But Psyduck is the best. It's my all-time favorite. Ekans, Caterpie with the sad doggy in the window eyes. Paris, and you know I always say it, Paris just moved into the neighborhood. It's saying, how you doing, neighbor? How you doing? I'm just introducing myself. All right. Energy. Will you introduce yourself back to the Paris? It's trying to be polite. Misty's Gym, Sabrina's Suggestion, Metapod, Golem, and a Zapdos holographic. Someone said the other day, and I, I apologize, I forget the username. They said they enjoy how I make up little stories for the Pokemon and the artwork. It's just something like I've always done. I don't know why. It just, I don't know. I just, that's me. I'm weird. I can't help it. I know I'm weird. That's just what I do. All right, going into the next booster pack. It's interesting to see what kind of pulls we're getting from all these booster packs. I gotta say, we have had crazy, crazy pulls out of shiny Mewtwo packs and shiny Charizard packs. So if you have not watched those videos yet, you have to go watch them. It's absolutely crazy. Clefairy, Clefairy. Energy, Jinx, Charmeleon, Chansey, Clefable. And a Lapras for our rare. And another code card. What I'm curious is if we're going to pull our millionth legendary bird trio ultra rare in this set. We pulled, we've been pulling them literally like crazy. Rainbow rares, full arts. Full arts I've pulled the most of. And regular art versions. Huh. I bet there's going to be one in here. I really do. I really bet there's going to be one in here. Eevee. Pikachu. Clefairy. Jigglypuff, if there is a Shining here, I'll do the Jigglypuff song. Caterpie, Energy, tried to catch it. Misty's Gem, Sabrina Suggestion, let me suggest to you, Booster Pack, let me suggest that you put a Shiny Pokemon in here. Pokemon Center Lady, Cubone, and a Mr. Mime, so no Jigglypuff song. I'm sorry, there has to be a Shiny in there for the Jigglypuff song. And you know what? I think it's time we do another little bit of an intermission. Go into a Unified Minds. See what we can pull out of there. We did have a nice hollow rare pull out of our last Unified Minds booster pack. Let's see if we can do the same in this one. Or maybe even do an ultra rare. We have a Muna, Pikachu, Pikachu, Lickitung, Purloin, Magmar, Looking angry. What's up, Magmar? Have a bad day? Not have enough milk for your cereal? Vigoroth. Oh, no. Thunderous. Dragonite. And a Magmortar for our rare. I'll take a Magmortar. Hey, we did get that reverse hollow Dragonite, so I'll definitely take that. There's the code card right there. Whoa, Dragonite. Wait a minute. Why are you asleep, bro? Bro, why are you asleep? Wake up, Dragonite. We have more hidden fates to open up. That was probably very loud for all of you into the microphone, and I apologize, but I'm trying to wake trying to wake you up too if all of a sudden you decided to take a nap. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't know what number this is. It is... How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. So we are halfway through. Ekans, Geodude, Cubone. Look at the artwork in the background of that Cubone. Very nice. Eevee, Clefairy, 
Energy. Can I catch it? Oh, it's so close. Chansey, Graveler, Giovanni's Exile, Pokemon Center Lady, and a Starmie GX. There we go. At least we got a GX Pokemon card. Not as shiny, but that's perfectly okay. I'll take it. Starmie GX, how you doing? There's the code card right there. Whoosh. Now we have to grab a sleeve. These are the sleeves I'm using right now. Um, Unbroken Bonds Elite Turner Box sleeves to sleeve up my cards. All right, so we have a Starmie GX, two shiny Magnazone cards, and one Psyduck. Surprise, it's only one. All right, next one, we have ourselves, ooh, Charmander. That could be a good sign. That could mean Charizard in this booster pack. Probably not. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Charmander, Slowpoke, sign. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Pikachu, Magikarp, Energy. Oh, tried to catch you. I tried to be sneaky with that one. Throw it right there. Didn't work. I just looked like a fool. Jinx, Magmar, Shiny Guzzlord. Not GX, just regular Shiny Guzzlord. Ultra Beast goodness, and I know we needed that one for the binder as well. And we have, hey, a holographic Eevee. Nice, I'll take it. Marie will like that. Set that over there. There is the Shiny Guzzlord. Woo, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. There we go, there's the code card. Put that right back there. Guzzlord. How you doing, Guzzlord? Set that right there. Mm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We got ourselves this nice shiny Guzzlord, which looks phenomenal, by the way. Let's go into our next booster pack. Mew, and then I think we might have to do another little bit of an intermission after this one. Charmander, ooh, maybe, maybe. I'm not, not saying anything, but you know, I'm feeling good about this booster pack right here. Slowpoke, sign. Oh, three Psyducks in a row. Who? Or not in a row, two Psyducks in a row, but three Psyducks right there. Pikachu, Magikarp, Energy. Ooh, that one was a bad one. Charmeleon, ooh, wait a minute. Charmander, Charmeleon. That leaves one more spot. Magmar, Scyther. Snorlax, and another Hollow Zapdos. Whew, flying right in. Legendary Birds, not the Legendary Birds that I've been pulling a lot of, but still Legendary Bird nonetheless. Let's go into our last intermission right here, Unified Minds. And then we have two more Hidden Fates booster packs left. Let's see what we got. Got a Holographic in our first Unified Minds. Um, got a non-Hollow Rare in our second one. Let's see what is in our third one. Drifloon, Dupider, ah, bugs. We have a Marini, Energy. Oh, not even gonna try on that one. Marmorel, Tornadus, Jinx, it's going like, whoa, whoa. We have a Magmortar. That's what I'm talking about, Breaking Family. Full alternate art, full art of alternate art goodness. Slowpoke and Psyduck GX. Love, love, love this card. My favorite card from the Unified Mindset. Oh, uh, look at the artwork on there. And the Shelter is biting the Psyduck's tail instead. And the Slowpoke is just laughing right at Psyduck. Love this artwork. This is like a must-have for anybody's Pokemon collection. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up. There's the code card right there. Might be my favorite pull so far, to be honest with you. Whoop! There we go. You get to go right up there in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon section. And Magmortar, how you doing right there? Two Hidden Fates left. Let's go into our next one. And I know Hidden Fates is hard to find, and I've been saying this a lot in my videos because I'm trying to get the word out. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help your wallet. Please do not go online and overpay for this. These retail for about $15, and they are being resold for like $30. $40 for a pin collection. Don't do it. They will probably restock. And then this weekend, September 6th, they are releasing the Raichu, the Gyarados, the Charizard tins that have nothing but Hidden Fates booster packs inside of them. As of the recording of this video, I know they were up for pre-order on GameStop, so they might still be up for pre-order. They might not. And then on September 20th, we have the Hidden Fates tin, uh, not tins, but uh, elite trainer boxes coming out, so please, please do not overpay for these. 
Um, that is just, it's not cool. Not cool to uh, be able to, or, or to uh, overcharge for a pin collection by so much. I mean, I can understand maybe going 20 or even maybe 25, barely I can understand that. Um, but $30, $40, that's just absolutely insane. Just wait, I promise you'll be able to get a hold of some. Energy, Misty's Gem, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Pokemon Center Lady, Chansey, and a Mew, a Mew inside of a Mew pack. Be honest with you, me personally, I would never pay over retail for the pin collection. I mean, I love it, but I'm not, I'm not overpaying for a pin collection. So just patience, patience. So as you're always, the, what, there's some sort of saying, it's like you're, you're rewarded with patience. And as long as you have patience, you get rewarded. So um, there's been products that have came out release day that I've not been able to get a hold of. And I do not overpay. I just wait until there's a restock. All right. Last code card right there. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a shiny GX. Make sure you're letting me know in the comment section down below which pack artwork has had the best pull so far. And then the next Hidden Fates opening will be the last pack artwork, which will be the Legendary Bird Trio. It will not be the last Hidden Fates opening here on this channel. There'll be plenty more, trust me. We'll be opening up the tins this weekend, by the way, as well. Koga's Trap. Are you serious right now? Last booster pack, we just pulled a Guzma. Full art Guzma, we just pulled it. Oh, I cannot believe it. This is a very, very sought after card in the set. And we got a Gyarados GX in the last pack. Full art Guzma, that is absolutely insane. Breaking family. That was, that was crazy. That was crazy on the last booster pack. I got to sleeve these up and then we're going to go into this binder and we are going to put the cards we needed inside of the binder. Guzma, how you doing? How you doing, Guzma? Oh, and then the Gyarados GX. Whoop. There we go. I believe I already have one of those though. But that Guzma, oh, I cannot believe it. Okay, I got to calm down. Let's get to that binder. Okay, one out of our two shiny Magna Zones is gonna go in this binder right here. This is card number 29. You can see the card number right down there in the corner with SV Shiny Vault. It's gonna go right beside this shiny Beldum in the binder. This page is getting pretty close to being complete right here. Next up, we have Shiny Guzzlord, Ultra Beast Goodness, going right next to Shiny Zora. Whoop! That page is getting kind of complete as well. Nice. And last but not least, our full art Guzma going right beside this full art fisherman. It is card number 84. Whoop! So happy about that pull. Another step closer. Nice. And there we go. Just a couple steps closer to completing the entire set of Hidden Fates. I wonder how many more Hidden Fates openings it is going to take to complete this entire set. And don't forget, we're going to be opening up those Hidden Fates tins this week, as well as the last installment of which pack artwork has the best pulls. All right, Breaking Family, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come and hang out with us so not cool person right here. Remember the Pokemon fun does not stop right here. There's many more awesome Pokemon videos right here on this channel. And don't forget, I love every single one of you amazing people all around this world. And don't forget, every single one of you matter in this world. And every single one of you are loved. And I love every single one of you. And I will see all of you, all of you amazing people in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and high five.